If you already have a salt plate or you're thinking about buying one, you may be wondering exactly how it is you're supposed to use it. Believe it or not, this beautiful piece of pink salt is nature's cookware. It's also a piece of history. It's about 100 million years in the making. The plate is actually mined from an enormous slab of pink salt from the Himalayas. It's then handcrafted down into this smaller plate so that you can cook on it. So what's the benefit of cooking on a salt plate? Salt is an imperative part of the cooking process. And with a salt plate, you're actually using a lot less salt because the surface area of the food touching the salt is a lot less than it would be if you were sprinkling a bunch of ground salt over your food. Now the salt plate can, has a naturally high uh, moisture content, which means it can heat or chill to extreme temperatures. That means I can use my salt plate on the grill, in the oven, on the stovetop, or even put it into the freezer or the refrigerator for some awesome chilled presentations, sushi, ice cream even. No matter how you're using your salt plate for cooking, be it the oven, the grill, or the stovetop, it's imperative that you bring it up to temperature slowly. I'm talking 30 to 60 minutes to bring it up to an ideal to cooking temperature of 300 to 400 degrees. Now this salt plate is a pretty substantial piece of salt and you can count on it lasting a good long time. But a great way to make sure it lasts even longer is to use a salt plate holder. Let me just show you how, what that looks like. So this is a salt plate holder. It has the two handles here which help it to not get any pressure on any one point of the salt plate. Furthermore, as you use your salt plate, it will start to wear down a little bit and it might actually break into some pieces. That doesn't mean you can't use it for cooking anymore. What you could use then is your holder and use it as a frame to hold the pieces together and you can cook as you always have with it. Now I just want to mention that you can use every last bit of this piece of salt plate. Once it gets down to small little pieces, just grate it with your grater and use it as you would any sort of table salt. Now virtually any protein will benefit from cooking on the salt plate. Same goes for vegetables. You can really cook just about anything on the salt plate. Uh, it is rich in trace minerals, which brings out an extra layer of flavor that you're not going to get anywhere else. Now today I'm just going to show you how to make this great little elegant appetizer with some shrimp that I have uh, rubbed with some olive oil and some fresh rosemary. No salt required. I just put them onto these little bamboo skewers so that I can put them onto the salt plate and then have it as an appetizer. So these shrimp skewers are now ready to go onto my salt plate that has been preheating now for about an hour on the grill. The surface temperature is about 350 degrees, which will be perfect for these shrimp. They're going to cook in about 8 to 10 minutes. So let me go ahead and do that for you. Just like that. You could make a little dipping sauce for this if you want, or they're great by themselves. All right, so that's about enough. So I'm going to go ahead and close the lid again, uh, just to keep the heat in. And we'll be back in about eight minutes to show you what they look like. So the shrimp have been cooking now on the grill for about eight minutes. I did give them a turn about halfway through with my tongs. Uh, they smell delicious. I think they're ready to come off the grill. So I'm just going to put on some gloves and I will remove the salt plate with the salt plate holder. Just like this. Put it onto a heat resistant surface and serve my skewers like this to my guests. It's a great presentation. So for cleaning up your salt plate, it's actually naturally antimicrobial, so that means no cleansers are required. So all you need to do is run your salt plate once it's cooled under some cold water and scrub it with a sponge or a light brush to remove any debris. You're going to want to let it air dry um, and then store it in an aired environment. So there you have it, salt plate cookery. Enjoy.